We've added and subtracted rational numbers. We've multiplied and divided integers. Now it's time to take the next step and multiply and divide rational numbers. Let's go. Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to learn how to multiply and divide rational numbers. Let's get started right away with example one. Negative two sevenths times one six. Now, before we get going, one common question that I get asked by a lot of students is, negative two sevenths, does that mean it's negative two over seven or two over negative seven? Or are they both negative? negative 2 over negative 7. And really, either of these would work. Negative 2 over 7, that's the same thing as negative 2 sevenths. Or it could be 2 over negative 7, that's also the same thing as negative 2 sevenths. But this is not. Negative divided by a negative would give, actually give me 2 sevenths. That's a positive, right? So that's not, that, is, that doesn't work. But you can think of it, uh, negative 2 sevenths, as either of these. Uh, I think it helps if you're consistent and just um, a common thing to do is just consider the numerator uh, the negative. Okay. But also remember that if you have something like this, negative 2 over 7, you can rewrite that just like this, okay? negative 2 sevenths. And that's typically what you'll see uh, in class and in math te textbooks. They have the negative pulled out. To the front of the fraction. So now that we've got that taken care of, let's actually do the problem. The same rules apply. Negative times negative is a positive. Uh, negative times positive is a negative, right? Same signs give you a positive. Different signs give you a negative. Um, and when we're multiplying fractions, we always try to simplify first. So if I'm thinking, uh, if I'm thinking of this as negative two over seven times 1, 6. Is there anything I can simplify? Well, negative 2 and 6 have a common factor of 2. So I'm going to simplify it that way. So that becomes just negative 1. That becomes 3. Right? They have a factor of 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And now, nothing else to simplify, so I'm just going to multiply straight across. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 7 times 3 is 21, and then here's what I'm talking about at the end. I'm just going to rewrite it, pull the negative out front, so it's negative 1 over 21. And there's my final answer. Let's do another example. Example 2, now we are dividing mixed numbers. And hopefully you've divided mixed numbers before or multiplied them before. The only difference now is that this is a negative mixed number. But we approach it the same way. First thing we're going to do is change them both to improper fractions. If you want to pause and go ahead and try to do this yourself, go for it. Uh, but here we go. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1 is 26. So that is 26 over 5 and that's negative 26 over 5 divided by 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Denominator stays the same. That's 3. Now, Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. And one way to remember that is keep, change, flip. You keep the original fraction. That doesn't change. 26 over 5. You change the operation. Division becomes multiplication. And you flip it. The reciprocal of 7 thirds is 3 sevenths. Now it's just we're multiplying fractions. Always try to simplify first before you multiply. Uh, but in this case, there is nothing to simplify. So we're just going to have to multiply straight across. Um, I'm going to keep this negative with the 26. So negative 26 times 3, well, 3 times 20 is 60, plus 3 times 6 is 18. So that's negative 78, right? Negative times positive is negative. 5 times 7 is 35. And then this is an improper fraction, so my last step is to change it back to a mixed number. 35 into 78 goes 
two whole times. That would give me 70. Then I have 8 left over, 8 over 35. And I have to remember that this is negative because negative divided by a positive is going to be negative. Sorry, let me give myself a little bit more room. Negative 2 and 8 35ths. Okay. Let's try another example. Example three, I'm still multiplying with fractions. Uh, now, the only difference is I have three, okay? Three rational numbers that I'm multiplying together. The fact that they're all multiplying means that I can change the order. The commutative property says that the order doesn't matter with addition or multiplication, as long as it's all multiplication or all addition, right? Two times three is the same as three times two. So here, I can change the order. And in this case, it, it would really help me simplify some things. So hopefully you notice you've got negative 7 and negative 1, 7. Okay, those are reciprocals. So what I'm going to do is change it to negative 1, 7 times negative 7. And I'm going to rewrite that. Whenever we're multiplying fractions with whole numbers, sometimes it helps to write it as a fraction, so make it look like a fraction. And we do that by just putting it over one. So I've got negative seven over one. I just flip that here, change the order, and then I still have times the four fifths. Okay. And here, always try to simplify before you multiply. Well, seven and negative seven have a common factor of seven. So that becomes one. Negative seven divided by seven is negative one, don't forget the negative, right? Uh, and that's all I can simplify, so now I'm just gonna multiply. I'll just bring it down here. Uh, so negative one times negative one is one. One times one is one. So I've taken care of that. I still have the times four fifths. Well, one over one is just one times four fifths is four fifths. So rearranging it and simplifying really made this problem a lot easier. <clears throat> Excuse me, a lot easier. Let's try one more example. Example four, we've multiplied and divided with fractions and mixed numbers. We can't forget about decimals. They're also rational numbers. So here's our last example, negative 2.57 times 3.6. Uh, we approach it the same way. Really, the only difference is the negative. You should have already learned how to multiply decimals, so this hopefully is just kind of a review. When you're multiplying decimals, we don't have to line up the decimal. My suggestion is pretend the decimals aren't there, set up your problem, and then worry about the decimals after that. So instead of negative 2.57, I'm just going to think of it as negative 257 times 36. And I would set that up just like that. Okay. Imagine the decimals aren't there. Now that I've set up my problem, I'm going to put them back just so I don't forget. And now it's just going to, we're just going to multiply. I don't really need to worry too much about the negative. I just know that negative times positive will give me a negative. So as long as I remember a negative at the end, I should be fine. So now it's just multiplying. 7 times 6 is 42. Carry the 4. 30 plus 4 is 34, carry the 3, there's 12, right? So don't get too hung up on the negative. Uh, 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not thinking, well, 6 times 2 is, or 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 plus 3 is uh, negative 9. I'm not thinking that way, okay? So really, you could even just kind of, Get rid of that if you want, as long as you remember it at the end. Uh, now I need to go add a zero. Cross those off. 3 times 7 is 21. Carry the 2, 15, 16, 17, 6, 7. Add them up. 2, 5, 12, 9. Now, again, don't forget, I know my answer is negative, so I'm going to put that in there. And then the last step, hopefully you remember, you got to figure out where to place the decimal. Well, 2.57 has two decimal places. That's two. 3.6 has one right here. That had two. So my, uh, my product, my answer should have three. 
So I'm going to go one, two, three, and my decimal point should go right there. So my product, negative two, sorry, negative 9.252. And if I want to uh, kind of estimate, see if that makes sense, I could round that to negative three times four is negative 12. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay. There's our last example. Here's something to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching, and always, if you liked the video, please subscribe.